Happy Thursday. Thanks for joining. As you know, on Thursdays, we take a look at our upcoming gospel reading for the weekend. This is a gospel reading that has an absolute ton in it. And walking through, boy, even half of it in a devotion would be impossible. So I chose one brief snippet for you. And I hope that, well, I hope that it turns into a prayer. This is Jesus speaking. And he says, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Here's a little bit of the broader context. Jesus is sending out 72 of his followers, not his 12 disciples, others. He's sending them out two by two, and they're supposed to go into all of these different towns and villages where he himself is about to go. I guess the idea is that they begin to till the soil for when he arrives. Maybe they're supposed to also make some preparations for his arrival. A famous saying of Jesus follows immediately after this one. He says to him, I'm sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. The tough, tough job for these 72 to go out. They're supposed to heal, speak peace. They're also, as you've heard before, supposed to shake the dust off their feet in places where they are not welcome. They're also supposed to bring with them no provision. They're supposed to rely on the care and hospitality of others, which is an incredibly difficult thing to do. But with all the things that Jesus does not tell them to bring with them, does not send them with, one thing he absolutely does send them with is this prayer. He encourages them that as they're about to walk in places where they're going to see enormous need, spiritual difficulties, they're going to see health problems, they'll probably see people who are just hanging on, that as they look around and see how incredibly great the need of the world is, that they would have this prayer nearby to them, that they would pray to their heavenly father that he would send out more workers into the field. And I think that's something that you and I should do too. There's probably a couple different versions of that prayer. One would be to pray to God that he would continue to work in the lives of people, that they would, I don't know, choose a professional church work career, choose to be full-time missionaries. But in addition to that, all of God's people should remember that they're also called to be a part of the mission, to be kingdom workers, to be the kind of people who look around and see opportunities to bring God's word of comfort, to bring kindness in the name of Jesus, all that kind of stuff. So I'd encourage you to consider that. Consider church work as a career or as something you do because you're one of God's people wherever it is that you've been placed. Found a prayer that fits perfectly with this verse. Quotes it, in fact, from the front of our hymnal. Although I did notice that lacking in this prayer is really a prayer for the broader mission field. So in addition to all these things that I mentioned here, I'd encourage you to pray for the missionaries that we support. Consider praying for them often, supporting them often, and also praying that God would send even more missionaries to the big field of the world and also to the, our tiny little spot that God has placed us in. We pray. Almighty and gracious God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you have commanded us to pray that you would send forth laborers into your harvest. Of your infinite mercy, give us true teachers and ministers of your word who truly fulfill your command and preach nothing contrary to your holy word. Grant that we, being warned, instructed, nurtured, comforted, and strengthened by your holy word, may do those things which are well-pleasing to you and profitable for our salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As always, thanks for clicking, and see you next time.